Hello, and this is Sunny. Welcome back. Today I will introduce the Tor network. The Tor network is simply a network that relays user data traffic without leaving his footprinting, thus enabling the user to browse the internet anonymously. Tor networks makes very difficult to trace a user's location and his internet activities thus protecting his privacy. I plan to use three separate videos to explain the whole Tor-related technology. This one is an introduction to the Tor network with non-technical perspective. To better understand the Tor network, let's look at how the normal network works. Every time we use a browser and click a web link, for example, we are requesting a web page from a web server. Then the web server responds by sending a web page to us, the web client. This kind of a communication structure is called client-server model. In this model, a server stores and manages resources, and a client makes requests to these resources. In addition to web client server networks, we also have email client server networks, FTP client server networks, and many other client server networks. A large part of the internet can be considered a network of client server networks. Yet, the communication between a client and a server is normally going through many routers over the internet. For example, each time a client sends its request to a web server, its data packets delivery will involve many routers over several paths. Routers deliver packets based on the source and the destination IP addresses. Data packets might be encrypted, but routing paths from the source to destination are not much of a secret. The communications between the client and the server can reveal much about the user, such as user location and IP address. In a normal situation, we have no privacy over the internet. Big companies, big brothers, and hackers know about us if they want to. Where we are, what we watch, what we eat, what we like or dislike, etc. How do we remain anonymous on the internet? How to protect our privacy? Privacy is a big deal, yet there are not many options or solutions to the privacy protection. However, the Tor network is one of the few. Tor, which stands for the Onion Router, is a technology that enables us as users to browse the internet anonymously because it can hide our identities, locations, and traffic routes. The idea is inspired by the awning and the layers of the awning. The bud, the core, is covered by different layers of the awning. Core part is like the data we want to send, and its traffic routing paths and relays are encapsulated by different layers. Here is how it works. Suppose a user is to send his message to a server. First, the user gets three random Tor nodes after searching the Tor directory. These Tor nodes are the awning routers. The Tor network consists of thousands of awning routers provided by volunteers all over the world. They are used to relay users' packages, and they are free. The messages are encapsulated with three layers of encryption, like layers of the awning. The encapsulated message is transmitted through these nodes. 
The first node is called entry node, which peeled the top layer on covering the IP address of the next node destination. When the middle relay node gets the encapsulate message, it peels the second layer on covering the IP address of the next node and then forwards the message to the next node. The third node is called exit node. When the exit node gets the package, it peels the last layer of encapsulated packages and gets the IP address the final destination, the server. On the Tor network, a node only knows the next stop, but no node knows its role like entry node, middle relay, or exit node. And no single node knows the whole traffic path. The onion layers hide the path from the start to the end. And this is how the Tor network hides the user's identity and a footprinting over the networks. But you may ask how to use the Tor network. What does it look like? Is the Tor network the same as Darknet? And what's the Tor browser? And how do I download and install the Tor browser? In my next video, I will answer all these questions. Please stay tuned. Thank you very much and see you next time.